video is about rubber dam application technique. But before going on to the technique, we have to review about the components in rubber dam kit. Components in rubber dam kit are rubber dam sheet having two surface dull with a shiny, rubber dam retainers, wing molar retainers, wingless molar retainers, cervical retainers for class by anterior restriction, rubber dam punch forceps, rubber dam retainer forceps, rubber dam retraction cord. Rubber dam retraction cord is mainly used when multiple teeth are being isolated by the dam material. Rubber dam frame, this is a young plastic frame to hold the rubber dam material and this is a rubber dam template. The first step will be to punch a clean drum on the rubber dam sheet. This is done with the help of a rubber dam template to our portion of the hole and with the rubber dam punch forceps. And this is the clean drum hole shown here. A wing molar retainer is made to pass through the punch rubber dam hole. And this is how the wing molar retainer should be into the hole of rubber dam. The rubber dam sheet is made to stretch over the rubber dam frame. It is made this stretching should not be done in a too tight line. There should be some amount of flexibility left behind the rubber dam sheet after stretching. Now, the rubber dam retainer forces is made to engage into the hole in the retainer. The retainer is widened by the retainer for just enough so that it passes over the side of the of the boot. The jaws of the retainer should engage into the axial angle of the boot surface. Careful not to engage the gingiva. By using a blunt instrument like here, a plastic filling instrument, the rubber dam sheet is reflected away from the face of the retainer. Now the rubber dam sheet is stretched over the, the free hooks in the rubber dam frame, and this will be the view of the rubber dam isolated with the wing retainer. Rubber dam retainer is removed using the retainer process, and the rubber dam sheet is put to the Wingless rubber dam technique, the retainer is first engaged on the tooth without rubber dam sheet, unlike in the former wing retainer technique. Now the tight fitness of the retainer onto the tooth is checked using a plastic filling instrument. Now a rubber dam sheet with a punched hole previously is made to stretch over the retainer that has been engaged already onto the tooth. The stretching is then carefully so that there is no tearing away of the rubber dam sheet. The stretching is done so that all the rubber arm sheet material is reflected away from the rubber arm retainer. Now here the sheet is being reflected away using a gloved finger. Even a blunt instrument like a plastic filling instrument like that here can also be used to reflect away the rubber arm sheet. Now this will be the view of a rubber arm isolated teeth. Now the sheet is being stretched over the hook that has been left free in the rubber arm frame and this will be the final view of the rubber arm isolated with wingless retainer.